if I became the president of the Philippines? Wow. A lot of people would die if I were the president. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> I left to have first run as president of the Philippines, and I don't have the money to do that. <laughs> Maybe the face, but not the money. <laughs> uh, as president, I would declare martial law. My first action is to improve the lives of the poor people because here in the Philippines, it's 20% upper class, 80% very poor. First thing I would do is uh, get somebody to get somebody to implement all the things that should be done. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not qualified. President, no, qualified or not. <laughs> That's just give me a headache. I'd change the system is what I'd do. How to start, I don't know. I would cut the church off completely. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I would silence them. Okay, I'm just joking, okay? I'm just kidding because uh, this is born out of frustration because my friend in, in Daily City in the, Philippi in, the, in the United States, you should be the president of the Philippines. If I were the president of the Philippines, I'll implement the firing squad. <laughs> All the corrupt people in the firing squad. Church, they're always too noisy. They're always making comments about politics and... I, I think I have to be, you know, in the Philippines, you have to be a dictator, no? Line up a lot of the practicing politicians right now, and I'm not doing this out of a general sense of anger or anything, but these are the people who are really responsible uh, for the state of things. Line them up against the wall and in good old uh, Mao Zedong style, shoot them and get rid of a lot. A huge list, very, 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 very long list. I don't think the Philippines can afford democracy. <laughs> I think they need a dictator to, uh, to put them on the right track. People in my community, they, they know me. In fact, they want me to be the mayor <laughs> in our town. But I said, if I will be the mayor, <laughs> no, no, it's very dangerous if I will be the mayor. <laughs> because I will, I, will, uh, I will force you to have painting in your house and have beautiful music in your house. Beautiful house, because if your house is ugly, I will... <laughs> Martial rule. Rule. Art. I'm the president and I dictate. I think I should be a dictator. Maybe because I want to have full control. Of course, without violence, of course. We need something stronger, something firmer. It's too much, too much... Um, too much. Uh, maybe we were conquered too many times. Huh? We've been uh, 400 years of convent school and uh, 50 or so years uh, of Disneyland. American democracy doesn't work. That doesn't work here. The Pinoys have just found a way of corrupting. I mean, these are the same democratic institutions that work so well for the United States, but it doesn't work. It, it, Obviously, it doesn't work here. I mean, the, the politicians in the ruling class have just used it for, uh, have corrupted the system and to use it for their own uh, purposes. If I were the, if I had access to the president, I'll tell the president, look at what we're doing. It's not very expensive. We have a lot of dedicated people. We can transform this country. One village, one community at a time. Maybe they should divide the Philippines. I can be president of Negros. Poor people do not wish for Mercedes-Benz, for whatever the rich people have. Their only wish is to have food, to make them live and be happy. I would do my best to have the people, all the people, eat this kind of a meal three times a day whatever it costs, until they kick me out, or they assassinate me, <laughs> or the country goes bankrupt. Hmm. I think that's a multitasking job. You have to do 200 things at the same time. So just, uh, I think, uh, yeah, 
for you to be able to do what you have to do, I think you have to be healthy. That's it. That's it's the first thing you have to do. <laughs> just let, just let me work on my work and <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not the press. <laughs> Don't let me run for president. <laughs> 70% of the people voting don't know the issues, can't read, hardly write, and they're going to be making choices. I mean, does that sound like elitism to you? Uh, well, you need a certain form of democratic elitism, or else you can talk about the issues are the ones that count, the issues are the ones that matter, and uh, everybody's still voting for the son of Minoy or this man who, who, who is going to understand us because he was born poor, whether he's lying about it or not. An ex-criminal who has been set free for political accommodations, which anyway turned around and bit the person's hand, who set him free and who was found guilty of plunder and we have all of these emotional things that are going to be decided upon and nobody's making any kind of rational and then we all wonder what went wrong what was uh, you know why was the promise not fulfilled that's why i would be the bad president because i'd like people to eat and eat and eat because eating is the best thing about living oh there are other stuff also but i cannot <laughs> mention it here on camera there's a problem here in 7,000, that's the 7,000th island. You have to solve that. And then there's uh, the problem of the 61st island with a different language, of course. You have to consider that and culture. And then you have to go through the politics. No way. Well, there's something wrong. Something has to change. We, have, we will have to find our way. Our own way, not their way. I'm sure there's a Filipino way somewhere. But I think the Philippine politics should be very interesting this year. We haven't elected a president uh, for the past three terms. So I think this, this um, presidency is very, very important for the Filipinos to grab and get the right guy and make sure that guy works, you know. So we hope for the best, really. Uh, God knows we've had too many knocks. Is that very Paul Potish? Is that very Khmer Rouge? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, we need a wake up call. We, we need a big change. It's not that easy to choose one good and honest candidate. I wish everybody will select their candidate wisely. We do it because we love our people. That's it. And maybe that's a big difference. And I'm sure our president now and our incoming president and our politicians love our people as well. We just have to talk and get together and work together. That's what I would do if I were president. <laughs>